excuse me, excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. I have been with you for so many years. For you to join up with the likes of these two men absolutely makes me sick to my stomach. And I think that these people here and a lot of other people around the world have had just about enough of this man, this man, and you want to put yourself in this group, you've got to be kidding me. Well, the first thing you got to realize, brother, is this right here is the future of wrestling. You can call this the new world order of wrestling, brother. These two men right here came from a great big organization up north and everybody was wondering who the third man was. Well, who knows more about that organization than me, brother? I've been there, I've done that. You have made the wrong decision, in my opinion. Well, let me tell you something. I made that organization a monster. I made people rich up there. I made the people that ran that organization rich up there, brother. And when it all came to pass, the name Hulk Hogan, the man Hulk Hogan, got bigger than the whole organization, brother. And then billionaire Ted, amigo, he wanted to talk turkey with Hulk Hogan. Well, billionaire Ted promised me movies, brother. Billionaire Ted promised me millions of dollars. And billionaire Ted promised me world caliber matches. And as far as billionaire Ted goes, Eric Bischoff and the whole WCW goes, I'm bored, brother. That's why these two guys here, the so-called outsiders, these are the men I want as my friends. They're the new blood of professional wrestling, brother. And not only are we gonna take over the whole wrestling business with Hulk Hogan and the new blood, the monsters with me, we will destroy everything in our path, Mean Gene. Look at all of this crap in this ring. This is what's in the future for you if you wanna hang around the likes of this man Hall and this man Nat. As far as I'm concerned, all of this crap in the ring represents these fans out here. For two years, brother, for two years, I held my head high. I did everything for the charities. I did everything for the kids. And the reception I got when I came out here, you fans can stick it, brother. Because if it wasn't for Hulk Hogan, you people wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff would be still selling meat from a truck in Minneapolis. And if it wasn't for Hulk Hogan, all these Johnny Come Latelys that you see out here, wrestling wouldn't be here. I was selling out the world, brother, while they were bumming gas to put in their car to get to high school. So the way it is now, brother, with Hulk Hogan and the New World Organization of Wrestling, brother, me and the new blood by my side, what you gonna do when the New World Organization runs wild on you? What you gonna do? What are you hey, gonna do? don't touch me, I'm gonna free the lawyers. Hello, this is JMA. If you've made it this far, I hope that means you enjoyed the video. If you really enjoyed it, I would sure appreciate it if you hit that like button. There's a lot more of this sort of video here on the channel, so if you are interested, go ahead and click subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have the super thanks option available as well. Thank you so much and have a great day.